In the development of this project, I was helped by PCBWay, which is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. If you want to make your own PCB for this project or for any other electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice. They have a large online community when, where you can find the open source project and you can also share your project there. From my personal experience, I can tell you that on this community you can find many useful projects with already designed PCBs from uh, where you can place an order directly. Also, you can get 10 PCBs for only $5. So if you want your PCB, just type pcbway.com on your browser. Hello, this time I will show you how to make an interesting interactive game on a 32x8 LED matrix which is controlled by moving the device. During the certain movement of the device the MPU 6050 sensor sends a signal to the microcontroller and based on that information the microcontroller performs a given action on the screen. In fact, uh, the sensor represents a so-called air controller that we can find as part of remote controls for modern TVs. The project is featured on Benjamin Baloch GitHub page where you can find the original code. The source code is made in Visual Studio with support for Arduino known as Visual Micro. Unfortunately, after compiling and uploading the original code to the Arduino, the device, the device that did not process the data from MPU6050 and only scrolled the text wall scroller. I tried to contact the author several times but without success. Uh, after a certain time of studying the code, with one small modification I managed to adapt it. Also, instead of a visual micro, I compiled it into a standard Arduino ID. Uh, you should open the code from the given folder that contains all the required libraries. Let me emphasize uh, that if you have previously installed any of these libraries in the Arduino ID, you should delete them. Delete them. The device is extremely simple to build and consists of only few components. Arduino Nano microcontroller, MPU 6050 gyroscope plus accelerometer sensor module, small buzzer, 32 on 8 LED matrix module with MAX7219 drivers, battery, optionally like in my case, one 3.7 volts lithium battery with charger and boost module. Of course, you can use ordinary 9 volt battery or external power supply and two switches. After uploading the code we need to make some settings. Depending on the mounting position of the sensor we need to perform a calibrating by changing the values in the few lines of code. Uh, and now let's see how the device works in reality. Immediately after switching on a scrolling text with the name of the game appears. By tilting to the left, we move through the menu. To activate an option, we tilt the device down. Now uh, active is demo mode. We return to the menu by tilting the device upwards. To start playing the game, when we are in the play menu, we tilt the device down and then to the left. This is the score, 162.
The following is a brief description of the methods of making the device. 